well met. And what up? I'm Milato Rance with Muscle and Magica. And you, my friend, just invested some points into alchemy. So, I've gotten a few questions over the past uh, couple of weeks that I thought would go together really well in one video. Um, my boy Ernie over at Reality Zap was asking me about tips for uh, achieving your calorie goals as a vegetarian. And my boy Damien the Assassin wanted to know if there was any way that he could get out of eating his leafy green vegetables. So, we're going to kill two birds with one potion today, as it were. So open up your ingredients tab, and let's go. I usually walk off screen there, don't I? By the way, I forgot to mention, Damien is a loyal knight and follower of my Twitch stream, The Order of Muscle and Magica. And as such, allow me to extend to him the customary greeting. Bruh. What's up? Alright. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. I'm using a scale here because I'm cutting, and I ain't playing around with my caloric intake, so... First ingredient is gonna be... Milk. I'm using almond milk because, like I said, I'm cutting and I appreciate being able to get a full glass of milk for only 30 calories, but you can use whatever kind of milk you want to use. Almond milk, cashew milk, whole milk, buttermilk, don't use buttermilk. <laughs> Unless you want to turn this from a potion into a poison, don't use buttermilk. I'm sorry if you love buttermilk, I can't, I, this makes me want to throw up, okay? So that's one full cup of almond milk. Fun fact! If your gathering skill is high enough, you can actually make your own almond milk from almonds. Very complex process. I don't recommend it. I would just buy it from the store. Next up, your choice of protein powder. Now, obviously, this is going to add strength to our potion. I know that not everybody likes protein powder or has protein powder. I highly recommend it because I've got a massive, unsatiable sweet tooth. Is it insatiable? I've got a massive sweet tooth. Sometimes I don't want to eat chicken or beef or eggs. Sometimes I want to get my protein from sweet sources like a brownie or a pancake or a pudding. So I like to mix and bake protein powder into those kinds of recipes. Um, also, a lot of times whey powder can be an extremely cheap source of protein if you compare it pound for pound and gram for gram. So we're going with one scoop. Next up, we're going to knock out some micronutrients and go with one serving or 140 grams each of blueberries and strawberries. Now, obviously this is what's going to give our potion the magical properties. I believe it's mana regen for blueberries and magic resistance from strawberries, if I'm not mistaken. Um, again, very basic, low-level ingredients. You don't need a very high gathering skill to get these. If you don't have any frost magic, you're going to have to put them in the freezer because they need to be frozen for this recipe for the texture to come out the way that we want it. So, 140 grams each. Now, Damien, my man, I hate to break it to you, but if you want to be healthy, if you want to make all your gains, if you don't want to gimp your character, there's no avoiding your leafy green vegetables. But, there is a way you can get away without eating them. And the secret, my friend, is to drink them. I think I got the secret from uh, Matt Ogus way back in the day. Now, I'm, I promise you, okay, this is a mulatto's promise, you will not taste the spinach in this recipe. I know it sounds ridiculous and disgusting. Okay, maybe a little bit, maybe just barely you'll taste it, but if you do this right, okay, if your crafting skill is high enough, you will hardly taste the spinach in this recipe. I'm going to add one full serving, which is 85 grams or three cups, but you can add as much or as little as you like. Alright, now we're coming down to our last couple of ingredients, our secret ingredients, if you will. Well, will you? Ernie, you told me that you're a vegetarian, but you are able to eat dairy, so... We've got cottage cheese on deck. Now, I'm not a vegetarian, but I get a large amount of my protein from cottage cheese. And look, this is coming from a guy who hates the taste of cottage cheese. I can't stand the stuff. But eating cottage cheese plain makes me want to throw up almost as bad as drinking buttermilk does. But the thing about cottage cheese is it's sort of a culinary blank canvas. So when you mix it or blend it or bake it into, uh, into recipes, it sort of takes on the taste of whatever else you put in the recipe. I will say this much, don't put too much cottage cheese in this potion. I know you're going to be tempted because, you know, you get the crit hit rate and everything, but we're going to go with half a cup, one serving, and then we're also going to put some yogurt in, which I'll get to in a second, but I tried it once, I put a full cup of cottage cheese, I went ham bony because I wanted that crit hit rate, 
it came off tasting really salty and just generally disgusting. So, just one serving. Once again, I promise you, you do it right, one serving, just like the spinach, you're not going to taste it. Last but not least, just for a little bit of extra flavoring and to boost the protein content and just the volume, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Kroger Carb Master yogurt. Now you can use any kind of yogurt that you might have access to. This is a little six ounce package, uh, but you can use fat-free Greek yogurt if you want, even just regular yogurt, just know that it's going to change the macros depending on what you use. Also, this is lime green and it's going to make it much more alchemy and potion-y looking. So. We really don't have any choice now, do we? I don't think so. Alright guys, I'm kicking myself because I almost forgot the most important step. You need nine, count them, nine ice cubes. It is imperative that you use no more, no less, because otherwise you're not going to receive the blessings of the nine divines. Now, obviously I can see how if you're an elf you might want to use eight because you don't recognize the divinity of Talos, but let me let you in on a secret. I'm an elf who does recognize the video palace, but this is a cooking episode, so let's get back to the cooking. All right, last thing. I'm gonna give you guys a little cooking tip that's guaranteed to give you at least one cooking level right on the spot. I've learned over the years that if you're making something sweet, always use vanilla extract. I don't know why it works. I don't understand the properties. I don't understand the, the, the benefits, but whether it's chocolate or vanilla or fruity, if it's sweet, you can't go wrong with the vanilla extract. All right, I'm gonna blend this bad boy up and click finalize potion, and then I'll show you guys the end result. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the final potion. Now it's usually a little bit thicker than this, but well, I took too long making the video and everything melted. Um, I'll make sure and post the calories and macros and stuff in the description box below, but the really nice thing about this particular potion, apart from the obvious stat boosts, is the fact that it knocks out a large chunk of your protein and micronutrients, your fruits and vegetables for the day. So if you know you're going to be going out to eat later, or hanging out with friends, or going to the movie theater, or you just don't know what you're going to be getting into later in the day, this is a great way to start off so you make sure and hit some of those things that you need, so then later off you don't have to worry about what you're eating. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, I can feel that critical hit rate going up already. Anyway, I hope you guys gained some experience points from this. If you have any questions or topics or video games or even recipes that you might want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you want to come along with me on future quests, make sure to subscribe to the channel and join my party. Until next time, you lot of rants, logging out.